Nashville's Morning News on Super Talk 99.7 WTN. Good morning to you, friends. Time for the gang of three amigos. Johnny's here. Good morning, Johnny. Good morning, gentlemen. Ken's here, and Ken, you have me worried. Good morning, Ken. Ah, good morning, boys. Yes. And uh, I'm Dan. You said there's a big old recall on a whole bunch of cars. Big old recall, brother Dan. Going to be over a million vehicles. 2020 to 2022 model Toyotas and Lexus. Uh Uh-oh. I'm trying to think of what my what year my RAV4 is, because I proudly drive a RAV4. Yeah, you do. Feel free to start making fun of me. Uh, then. I like my RAV4. Uh, well. But what's the problem? The problem is uh, something with the... Well, if you're in a crash, the airbag uh, up front may not work properly. Well, that's an issue. Yeah. That's so, a serious uh, issue. Yeah, owners are going to be getting notified here in, in a uh, couple of months, and then the dealers will take care of it for you. Okay, very good. Just don't get in a crash between then and now. You know, my... Uh, <laughs> yeah, stay away from the deer. I'll work on that. That's a little hard, Johnny, when you come in at the time that we come in. But just drive a little, you know, slower. Yeah. On yeah. those country roads. I know. Those deer need to stay out of my way. That's yes. all I'm saying. You know what the... You know <laughs> my uh my big... What do you guys want for Christmas? Um... Gosh. To be over this cold? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that I want more than anything. Johnny's still sick, everybody. Could you, could you hear it? Yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> I want vinyl. You want, want vinyl? a whole bunch of vinyl records. Okay, so Ken wants vinyl. I want to... Well, see, I gave away my Rolling Stone CD to my uh, sister. Why would you do that? She, Johnny, well, because please. I love her, and uh, oh, she's, she's older, doesn't get out much, so... Um, she dug it so much. I said, "Here, I'll get another one." Brother Johnny B, man, brother Johnny B and Glennon, very giving, giving we try. individuals. We try to be. So, what are you going to do about the the listening to the music, then, Johnny? I mean, it's a great album. You yes, you've been uh, raving about that that I uh, love that album album for quite some time. Yes, I love that album. So. I guess you're just not going to uh, listen to it. You're going to buy no, a new I, one or I'm, what? I'm going to get another one. You yes. want vinyl or do you want a CD? CD. Okay, you want a CD? Yeah, I'm getting a CD. All right, very good. Hey, can you say, uh, can you like back sell a, a Rolling Stones song? Because you sound very DJ right now. Hey, Super, this is off the brand new uh, Stone CD called Hackney Diamonds. Here you go. It's uh... angry. <laughs> yeah, angry, which I am, I am quite... <laughs> Often here lately. I think I've made Johnny Super. angry by asking him to do that. In, no, that's okay. Robin took, took me back. I that's was just okay. trying to think of my favorite song on there, and it's called uh, Mess It Up. Yeah, Mess It Up. That they got a, a new, great uh, song. They got a new video for Mess It Up. Yeah, they do. I don't like the dance version, by the way. The dance no. version is too disco, and I can tell Jagger yeah. is all over that. By the way, too, the Beatles song, I, I listened to that again, and I think that uh, in my case... I I like it because of, of, of the sentimental value. Right. But I was listening to the song and the lyrics, and I thought, you know, it's really kind of a nothing song. Well, they were probably on drugs when they wrote the lyrics. No, actually, John Lennon, well, I don't know. John Lennon may have been. I don't know. It's not a psychedelic song, though. No, and it's not his greatest writing either. I mean, I just hate to put it that way, but it's not... I didn't yeah, but think this wasn't right. this. What what's the name of the song again? Now and then. So I I think part of it is the fact that this was during one of his. What I would say, and maybe I'm wrong on this, but you know, this was a time when he was not, I believe, necessarily overabundance in his creativity. No, it was during his uh, what they call house husband years. Yeah, that's and he, right. And uh, so he was just at the piano, and I think he just kind of rattled it off. And he had to wake up the Yoko Ono every day. <laughs> Boy. The- <laughs> yeah, now and oh, then. Too. Yeah, yeah, too. Probably should have been called constantly. <laughs> it's like now and then I'd like to leave this woman well, in the he, apartment and I can go escape somewhere. Well, yeah. he did actually. You know, he did take oh, some trips yes, around the world. You know, he went to Africa. And well, he went to he went to Bermuda. California. He went to California to to be with May Pang. With May Pang and Yoko, and Yoko set, Ono set the whole damn thing up. Yeah, what a wife, huh? <laughs> How does that even happen? Like, what was she? Well, I guess. They're, can we? I just say they were a weird couple. They were a weird couple. I mean, they just were. How 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 many of our wives don't send us off to be with another woman to sow our wild oats and then you know hopefully come back and you know be done with all of that foolishness and nonsense? Yeah, that was strange. Hey, speaking of foolishness and nonsense, hey, uh, I've got another version of Kamala Fuchsia. Oh, good. So I don't know. She's making the rounds. 
And so I don't know if Chris, I know that he had some Kamala audio yesterday. I don't know if this is what he played, but uh, this is Kamala. And what I, there's a number of things here. Number one is she, she shanks the very beginning. You know, every election cycle we talk about this is the most election of our lifetime. It's the most election of our lifetime. Did you guys hear that? Well, now, what she meant to say, this is the most important election of our lifetime. Amy and I actually spoke about that last night. But, but Kamala said this is just the most election of our lifetime. You know, every election cycle we talk about this is the most election of our lifetime. <laughs> There you go. Wow. <laughs> Boy, that was deep. <laughs> so there, So there was that. And, and then she goes on. I want you to listen to the words of Kamala Fuchsius. And you could listen to these words. And you could literally turn them around. And she's talking about the Democrats. This one is, we are literally talking about people who are attempting to divide our country in the most crude, frankly, and profound way. We are talking about those who are intent and purposeful to to attack fundamental freedoms, be it the freedom to make a decision about your own body, the freedom to love who you love openly and with pride, the freedom to be free from fear of violence and hate. Yeah, man. The freedom to just be. The freedom to just be. The freedom to just be. Yeah. To just be, guys. I just want to be. You know, every election cycle. To, to just, to just be. Yeah. I just, I just want to be. That's all we want to do is that. We I just, just... want to Johnny B. Yeah. yeah. Freedom to decide whether or not you want to take a shot for some sort of ailment out there. Yeah. That's exactly right. That so, you know, freedom is exactly for things right. like that. Yeah. You know. Too. Well, you know, it's funny because again, as as you listen to, and I'll probably do it at some point during the show, but you know, you could tick list one by one. Kamala Harris, and and she, you could make the case that the Democrats are doing what she's accusing Republicans of, and the Democrats are doing it more when you talk about trying to take Donald Trump off the ballot, you know, when she says they're trying to divide us in the, what did she say, the most crude way, or whatever it is that she said. I mean, good Lord, does she not hear herself speaking? I mean, obviously she does. And, And so when... You know, she says that people, you know, just, just, uh, freedom to just be. People just want to be. That's what she says. Yeah. People just, the freedom to just be. Can, can I ask, um, what Republican is, is, or conservative is saying that people can't just be? Be. Yeah. I mean, you know, the freedom to just be. Well, who, the freedom to just be. Well, she, who, by the way, it is important that she say it twice. Yeah, it is. So that you get the message. But, you know, the, what about the freedom to maybe own the kind of car you want to drive? Or yeah. The kind of uh, stove you would like to have in your kitchen or... The kind of ceiling fan you want? Yeah, exactly. You know, when, when we say that, uh, you know, we want to just... The freedom to just be. We want to just be. Yeah. We want to just be in our gas-guzzling SUVs. Yeah, come on. If we so choose. We're Americans. That's exactly right. That is exactly right. So, of course, no Kamala Fuchsia segment would be complete without... Okay. The gong that's not working. Oh, darn. I hate when that happens. You know what? I Yeah, I don't know why it is. All right, here. Here, you know what? Yeah. It's going to be yeah, one of those days. I, you know what? I can already tell. I can smell the incense. Can you see? Yeah. I can smell the patchouli. Yes. yes. I, everybody's, everybody's sitting in cross-legged mode. <laughs> Preach to us, Kamala. You are our supreme. Yeah. Leader. Hey, by the way, you guys didn't ask me what I'm getting for. Uh, what are you getting, What are you Dan? getting, Brother Dan? Man, this for Christmas. A sitar? No, but that would be great if I did. Boy, that would be cool. You know, wouldn't that actually be kind of fun? I bet you, I wonder if Brian has a, a, a sitar. Oh, I'm sure he does. Probably you has think? George Harrison's. You know what? Next, <laughs> probably does. Next party at Brian's, we need to, you know, bring some of that Pacholi you're talking about. Pacholi? Pacholi. Pacholi. Yeah. Pacholi. And, uh, and, and bring a sitar and see if we could get Brian to play. Yeah, come on, Brian. Because if there's any, anybody you think of that would, you know, sit down cross-legged on the floor and have some of that patchouli, patchouli stuff you're talking about, mm-hmm. it is Brian Wilson. Yeah, Brother Brian, he'd tell you to leave that patchouli at the door. Yes, he would. And then Brian would suddenly turn into Brian Fuchsius. 
That would be something. Yes, Wouldn't that would. be funny? He'd like start putting dark glasses on. Yeah. The and, gran- then we'd be, and then he'd, he'd break out the bongos. Yeah, the granny glasses. <laughs> and wear one of those what? What were those shirts that the old people would wear during the like the kind of the Indian shirts, the, oh, Nehru, yeah. the Nehru jackets? <laughs> then he started channeling Joe yes. Biden and talk about how he played at Woodstock. Yeah, I would you know what I mean. He'd just start coming up with crazy because <laughs> Brian does not do that. But I mean, no, he, he would he start coming not. up with crazy, you know, incidents in his past where he played Woodstock and he jammed with, I don't know, Jimi Hendrix. Yeah, I was on stage with Jimi. Many people didn't realize that. <laughs> I was actually the one playing uh, the Star Spangled Banner. Jimmy didn't know it. <laughs> Can you imagine? Uh, I just... Anyway, so what I'm getting for my, uh, at my, my RAV4, <laughs> is it kind of silly that I'm, I'm actually getting leather seats for my RAV4? No. No, Is that not all. silly? I no. freaking love leather seats. I do, too. Because Amy was like, really going to get leather seats for the RAV4? Why not? Well, I think some people, for, I don't know why, but some people, you know, look at RAV4s as, you know, not really leather seat worthy huh but i believe that my now what it's what was not uh worthy was the extra 600 bucks they wanted for the butt warmer so no butt warmer my butt will uh remain cold but yeah that is (laughs) one of many uh gifts but yeah the that that's the one that i'm really looking forward to is leather seats for the rav4 and those things are expensive yes like when, when amy actually told me how much she was spending for my leather seats yeah i felt kind of bad you did? Yeah. A little guilt. <clears throat> but that's okay because I told her that's great. I have to tell my wife to turn off my butt warmer because I don't drive her car that often. So yeah. I'm, I'm not used to all the bells and whistles and where they're at, you know, while I'm driving. But all of a sudden, boy, my ass is getting hot. And I uh, got to have her reach down and turn that well, off. Because well, I can't find it while I'm driving. Well, according to Mrs. Weaver, yeah. it is hot, baby. <laughs> <clears throat> do you know do you know the first time I ever experienced a butt warmer? Yeah. I actually didn't know my car had a butt warmer. Yeah. And so I'm feeling yeah. my is my ex-wife's car. Yeah. And so she of course had the high flutin car, so she had the butt warmer. Butt's getting hot. So my butt's getting hot. Yeah. And she just, you know, got it a couple weeks before and I and I was driving it. I thought like something was wrong. <laughs> It was like on fire under you. Yeah. Like, yeah. The car is getting, I don't know what's happening. The seat's getting really hot. Yeah. And so I call her and she says, well, you probably have the butt warmer on. Butt warmer. And I'm like, this thing has a butt warmer? A yeah. Butt warmer. And she's like, oh, yeah. And <laughs> so then over the years, I I started to, you know, really enjoy the butt warmer. I don't my, like them. Uh, yeah, I don't either. I, I wasn't. I had one in the last car and. My butt gets warm what? enough. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't take long too. for my butt to get warm Not on a cold uh, winter's day in the uh, little uh, 2010 Corolla. Let me tell you something. Uh, but uh, do they have, I don't know if they have butt warm. I know they have butt warmers, but do they have, like, butt air conditioners? Is that also <laughs> part of the thing? They should. That's what I would love. But, Especially in South. But, but, butt icers. Yeah, butt icers. What did you say? Butt icers. Butt icers. Ice and butt. You know, I think we, uh, I, I think this is a great moment for the three of us. We have, you know, now <laughs> resorted to talking about, what did you say, Ken? Uh, butt icers. <laughs> Brian Wilson playing bongos on Patchouli Patchouli. And um, wearing sunglasses and sort of making up stories about jamming with Jimi Hendrix. Sitting cross-legged. Yeah. Sitting cross-legged. Whatever you said about air conditioning uh, your butt but in a car. Icer. Smoking out of that hookah pipe. Smoking yeah. on that hookah, hookah, hookah pipe, whatever. And um, so there we go. Hookah brother up. <laughs> uh, you know what? You know, that deserves a that deserves a gong. Yeah, it sure does. <laughs> I admit it. All right, we're done. All okay. right. You know yeah. what? This is one of those segments I kind of wish uh, what happened uh, yesterday when the when the Ken's microphone broke. This is one of those today. segments I kind of wish my microphone broke. Ah. Or mine. <laughs> Not mine. I got a chance to talk about butt warming and butt ice. By the way, 37, uh, 3157, I didn't actually, I wasn't monitoring the super text line, but apparently the uh, the cheek chillers. Cheek chillers. Are They're actually a thing. Cheek chillers. That's good. James yeah. calls them I, cheek chillers. I like that. Cheek chillers. Cheek chillers. Taco, I uh, see Mike says Taco Bell will warm your butt <laughs> a lot cheaper than 600 bucks. Boy, it sure will. 
15, and, 13 ooh. calls him a fanny fan. And yeah. unfortunately, the pie wagon's not here anymore. <laughs> a fanny fan. A like fanny that. fan. The old fanny fan. <laughs> Is Ken still feverish? I think that was Johnny. <clears throat> that was me. I'm yeah. not feverish. I'm just, yeah. Ugh. Yeah, brother Johnny B's got that voice going like that. That's right, yeah, baby. baby. Yeah, it's, there you it's, go. Um, it's Friday Eve, baby. Yeah, here's a little something that'll warm your butt. <laughs> yeah, sure. We'll come all you faithful. Shake that butt, baby. Come all you faithful. Okay, yes. we're done. We're done. <laughs> Five fifty. Joy to the world, brother Dan. Man. Wow. <laughs> 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 all right. Five fifty three. Ken. I hit. I hit the wrong thing. No, that's not, not? I didn't. That's not what I meant Why to not? hit. Let's have Ken. Now. You know what, Ken? You want to you want to do the 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 tease over the uh, oh please over the gong? Ken. Sure. Ken, what's happening uh, in the news at six? Well, you ought to hear the hue and cry from another sanctuary city that uh, prides itself on accepting.